Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, where we last left off we did the preliminary combat round of the martial art fighting thing, and now I think we need to go sleep or visit the guild or something. I can never remember. Mostly because it's several days in between uh, recordings, but you guys don't care about that. Let's go to the guild, because that's always a safe bet, and if nothing happens at the guild, then we're just gonna fuck off to the hotel. It probably wants me to, like, train up and stuff. Oh, I should probably rest. Talk. Style Joshua, congratulations on your victory. Thank you, thank you. Wait, how'd you know already? Grant already reported in, so how was it? Honestly, well, more like surviving than actually winning. Joshua explained that there were Sky Bandit and Special Op Teams. I see. I heard that the Sky Bandits were given special permission to participate. But I must admit, I'm surprised to hear about the Special Ops. Particularly, their leader is so powerful. The team was pretty tough, but the commander was like, on a different level altogether. He moved like a cat and was swinging that huge sword around like it was a toy. I barely believe he was human the way he was fighting. Yeah, what she said. Elnon. What do you know about the second Lieutenant Lawrence's personal history? Nothing, I'm afraid. The intelligence division is new, and the Colonel Rickard suppressed all information regarding their since the official inception. That clears information on the lieutenant. Drat. Joshua, I'm pretty caught up with that guy in red. Is there something we should be watching out for? Now we just need to know who we're facing, that's all. Anything that can give us an edge in the tournament. Ah, good point. Knowing your enemy is the best way to beat him, after all. Uh, actually, this doesn't concern the lieutenant, actually. Today at noon, a military patrol vessel arrived at the landing port. Its passenger was the Colonel's right-hand woman, Captain Amelthea. Amelthea. That is news. Captain Amelthea. That sneaky fox-faced woman. A witch who used Tina to threaten the professor. She's traveling through all the major cities. Her arrival was unexpected, causing all civilian airship lines to run late. And that doesn't bode well. Tour of the major cities? Sounds like a cover for her to hunt down the professor. We've got all the branches investigating her trip very carefully. We'll let you know as soon as we learn anything. You two just focus on the tournament for now. You bet. Thanks so much for all your help. Let's see, do I have anything to report to hell on? Currently, there's nothing. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a fuck. All right. So, how much money do I have? I keep asking that. All right, we got 48,000. You know what? You know what? I think I think it's time. I've been putting it off forever. I think it's time. We're going to get him some new fucking gear. So, let's buy... Let's see. So, that's 10 grand. I think we should go with try defense or offense. That's a pretty good boost shield coat to both of them or I could get them both metal jackets I think I'll get them both metal jackets and then the upgraded version of their weapons I think is what I'll do so we'll get the battle staff and these things and then two metal jackets okay now we're gonna equip that shit equip uh, so we'd be like here battle staff and then we want the metal jacket. I have four metal jackets. Do I have, like, better work boots and stuff? You can have double... No, wait, actually, you can have craft shoes, since those are just better overall. And then you can have craft shoes as well. Right? Do you both have... Yeah, okay. You can have that. You've got nothing there. Armor vest, shield vest, metal jacket. And you also want your new knives. Cool. Awesome. Everybody's everybody's tip-topped out. Or at least these two are tip-topped out. Let's... Where's the hotel? Oh, man. This place is so big. I don't remember where shit is. Is that up here? North block. That looks like the hotel. Sweet. Yep. So you're finally back. You sure not... Oh, no. It's Clint. You sure know how to keep a fellow waiting. Hey, I know that voice. Clint! Good to see you, Clint. How you been? Don't tell me you came here just to see little old us. Okay, then I won't tell you. I'm doing interviews with attorney contestants for my article. Figured you folks would be my best bet for getting the inside story. I was hoping to get a chance to ambush you to interview it at the hotel. You're way too good at your job, you know that? Well, it's not that we're not glad to see you, but this is you we're talking about. What's your angle? Hunting for the next big story, I'll bet. Heh, <laughs> you wound me up to the quick, kid. Uh, it's been like a big brother to you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. And now you think me of nothing but a news hound? We know you're nothing but a news hound. Not to mention the age difference is a little much for us to think you're think of you as a brother. Oh, shut it. If that's how you're gonna be, then I'm leaving. You're coming with me. Uh, 
Wouldn't mind a little night air before bed. Good, we're halfway there then. Then this quaint little eastery right next door is where I'll work. Eatery. Yeah, that's what the small bunch is like. Shut up. You're the perfect place to sit and talk. Well, then let's go sit and talk, Clint. I was gonna sleep because these people are technically dead, but whatever. Hey, this is a nice little place. Feels like a feels less like a bar and more like a coffee shop. Might explain the smell of coffee. Wow, you too bright. You got some bright fucking brains up in your head. I hear the owner started this place up as a hobby. The brew here is amazing. Plus he took some advice from someone later on and added curry rice to the menu. Curry with authentic spices. Except for curry spices, because you're not actually supposed to use curry powder and curry. I just like the atmosphere out here, though, personally. Have a seat. Let's get this interview started. Not so fast. We were just in that big match, and we're pretty damn hungry. Not about eat sm or I'm not about to smell food without eating food. Dinner does sound lovely right now, actually. Er, damn kids. Fine, I'll buy you dinner. And while there's stuff in your faces, you can give me the exclusive on any news you found. And there's the pitch. By the way, isn't Dorothy with you today? Nah, I gave her something else to work on. Come on, inside with the both of you. Borrow the coffee house. Nice. Ah, the food here sure is spicy. Tasty, though. Nothing beats ribs covered in sauce with some potatoes that are cooked just right. And I like a good cup of coffee after a meal myself. Oh, I heard it's difficult to make it well. Bah, way to eat up a man's paycheck, you guys. I know how I'm supposed to afford all this on a reporter's salary. Now, nah, now, nah, it was a great meal, and great meals don't come cheap. Okay, now you said something about an interview. <laughs> I could write a story about extortion. Moving on. There ain't been much to confirm that old queen's really taken ill after the guardsmen went all terrorist. What I need is some clear info that hasn't been combed over and cleaned up by the army. Dot, 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 dot. I heard a little from Dorothy about the kidnapping and his ass. Look, let me get right to the point. I know you got Colonel Ricker by the proverbial tail. I just need to know how hard you're holding on. Way to be blunt there. Sounds like you've already figured out an awful lot. I knew he was crooked. Before that interview on our magazine bumped him up his bumped up his popularity, he wasn't really well known or worth paying attention to. Seems like this guy has been planning his move every step of the way. Right now, we can't say for sure that he's planning some kind of treason against the throne, but it does look like he's manipulating the Duke somehow. Duke Doug. He's taking the advantage of the Queen's poor health and acting like he owns Grenzel Castle, alright. But what I don't get is why none of the military bigwigs are making their move. Well, about that, what do you think, Joshua? Should we tell him? Eh, we could definitely use some fresh intel ourselves, and as long as he scratches our back, let's scratch his. Hey, now, you two know something, don't you? We would have told you sooner, but anything we say here is out- uh, uh, Anything we say here is out completely off the record. Hope you're ready for this. Ah, shit. I'm really not gonna like this, alright. But fine, say what you gotta say. Yeah. You said you were ready for this. It's just, no way. Are you really serious? I'm afraid so. The Special Ops soldiers were behind the Sky Bandit incident as well as the arson. Not to mention the kidnapping and the kingdom's greatest scientific mind. General Morgan is at the top of the chain of command and even he's basically under arrest. All of the terrorist style activities are being made to look like the guardsmen are doing it. Okay, enough. You made your point. Damn it all. I can't even report a word of this. The army censors have already have their stamp all over the latest issue. They did their work put in the final print stages. Really? Now I'm left with nothing to cover except this damn tournament. Hey, wait a minute. You two have something up the sleeves, don't you? That's why you're in the tournament. You can say that. Can't give you all the details on our current request. We do, however, think that we uh, we need to make a move just to break the deadlock. You don't say. All right, then. Since I can't do anything as a reporter, I might as well pitch in. I'll see what I can dig up. I've got a few sources with fingers in places the kill would never go. I'll be a big help. Do anything to oppose the military is going to be a risky proposition, you know. Sure you're okay with this? Let me deal with it. Now is a good chance as ever to prove that the pen is really mightier than the sword. Clint! I understand. Thank you. Yeah, just leave it to me. Say, what do you want, or what do you want more information on? Info about the army movement would be good, as would knowing whether or not all the Royal Guardsmen have been arrested. Also, where General Morgan is being held. Got it. All the stuff that I've been thinking about, too. I'll check him out. Anything else? Uh, maybe some background info on someone from the Intelligence Division? Huh? You mean like the background check? Colonel Rickard, Captain Melia, and Second Lieutenant Lawrence. If we have to face any of them, the more we know, the better our odds. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. And you can bet that Colonel is working on the same principle. Probably watching the fights tomorrow and the next day. You think you can manage it, Clint? I do know a few army folks. Can't get you anything classified, but I might be able to scare up that profile info. Okay, then I'll see what I can do. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. We appreciate it. Hey, don't sweat it. You can pay me back by winning the championship and fill me in on what you hear at the dinner party. Fear it as much. Well, we'll do everything we can. 
Ugh. Dinner. Afterwards, Estelle and Joshua returned to their hotel room, where they retired early for the night. The next morning... Now, I'll be, I will be pleasantly surprised if they're actually alive when they woke up this morning. Well, we all seem to be accounted for. Shall we be off? Our match is in the afternoon just a little like yesterday, so feel free to do as we please in the meantime. We can stop by and get our equipment set up and maybe work in a little monster killing on the way. Oh, if that's what you're after, I know exactly where to go. Estelle told him about the key to the sewer that the Ravens had given her and Joshua. You don't say. That's mighty interesting. Or there are some tough monsters down there, so maybe they'll prove to be worthy opponents. A Byzantine labyrinth snaking out beneath this jeweled city. My adventurer's bosom strains in its corset strings. I have no problem with that, provided we have time. I think the entrance is just to the edge of the Western Block's residential district. They really want me to go to the sewers. But before we do that, I just want to ensure that everybody is equipped up to their eyes. And I think they will be. I think, like, these guys are, are pretty, pretty kitted out. Yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like. Okay. Cool. All right. Then we're, we are good to go. We are good to go. What do you guys think? You can't respond. You, should we go to the sewer and check it out? Or should we fuck off? Let's, let's check it out. I don't think there's any harm in checking out the sewer. So let's just go stick our nose in it and see what's up. Because they are heavily hinting at us to go to the sewer. So we'll go to the sewer. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just poke in. Harbor District. Okay, maybe that's not actually where the sewer is. Where is the sewer at? That's a house. That's a house. That's a house for sale. Where is this the sewer? Use Grand Soul Sewer Key. Excellent. Ah, yeah, that's definitely the sewer. All right, well, let's go exploring. This is one of those few times where I might actually do some battles, but they did give us the key and they did send me here for a reason, so let's see if we can't figure it out. Sorry, old habits die hard. Old habits die hard. All right, he actually took a little bit of damage. And you're dying. I think you guys should be able to take these two. Yeah. That shouldn't be that difficult. Not for these guys. Okay, no. Yeah, nice. And then you two can take this guy. All right, get in there. Fuck him up. Nice. And maybe Bear Boy can finish this one off? Probably not. Ah, oh, I was close. I was pretty close. Defense has gone up. Defense has gone up. Oh, it goes up on both of them. Interesting. All right, we'll get in there. Fuck him up. Oh, shit. That's a high fucking defense. Okay. Uh, let's try that. <laughs> Maybe you can sneak past this guy. Oof. That's a lot of defense. There you go. Having damage. Nice. Four hits. Woo, or four. Four points of damage. And they're healing again. Ugh. I might just fuck off because this is starting to annoy me. Yeah, let's just let's just bugger off. Fuck it. It ain't worth it. it ain't worth it. See you nerds. You wanna be cheap bastards and heal all the time? Be my fucking guest. Oh, this surprised attack me again. I need to hit him head on and then just run away. That's that needs to be the strat going into these things. Alright. Once again, we're just gonna run, because fuck it. I'll rest at the hotel before we actually enter the arena, so no need to worry about that. No, I can't turn the camera. What is over here? Ah, it's the way down. Totally sensing something. Ah, wait. Chomping spare rib. That sounds like a ingredient, which means I'm probably never going to use it. Because I do not have time for that nonsense. Yep, there's a weird thing there. Razors on the wall. Huh. I wonder if this is just the big old fucking training ground or if there's actually going to be something useful at the end of this. I'm hoping there's actually going to be something useful at the end of this. Oh god. That pigeon just- oh shit. Petrified powder. Uh oh. If Olivier took a fucking hit like that, I might be in trouble. Crap. You're going to die. Yeah, let's just, let's just leave. This was a bad idea. 
This was a super bad idea. Well, you two are still as useless as you've always been. We're 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 getting the hell out of here. This is this was done. Let's just go. Let's just go. And get the hell out of Dodge. No 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 no. There you go. I wish I had like escape ropes or something like that, but I don't think those are in the game. Uh, actually, no. I yeah. This was the right way. And straight away in this room, and then we just need to circle around. Nope. Fuck off. Oh god damn it. You fucking. Wasting my time. Ugh. Pigs in the ass. Weird fucking flying crab monsters. Wasting my goddamn time. Go! Flee! Wait, was it this way? I think it was this way. Yep. And we're out. Christ. Alright, let's go back to the hotel and rest because I'm dead. And that is not. That doesn't bode well for the start of the fight, so we need to go up. And then we will go up again. Okay, now where was the hotel? I was like, just there. Big and blue. I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So let's go inside and rest. And then we'll head straight off to... the... goddamn... arena for the badness. Awesome. <laughs>